So for this example, I will be using the data set with houses sold in Ames, Iowa. So if you click here on the data editor, its title is uh, data set Ames houses, and you can access it through the link in the uh, video description. So in the previous video, we looked at a simple example of a linear regression, right? So we run a sale price as a linear function of just three variables, uh, lot area, overall quality, and year sold, we observed that uh, only lot area and overall quality are statistically significant, so we can interpret these coefficients because these statistics here, it's more than doing absolute value. But of course, you can do more meaningful analysis uh, with the help of a linear regression. For example, you can use this model for predictions, right? And it's very simple, just use command predict, and this command will general work uh, after many different estimation commands, right? Not just the regress command. Uh, and of course, you have to check help for specific details. So if I open data editor, you observe that the last uh, variable here, it's year sold. Right? And now uh, I can run uh, this command predict where my pred, it's a name of my new variable, which will be my prediction, right? And xb, it's the option to use sort of linear prediction using the coefficients beta, which I have estimated, right? And using axes, which are just my covariates, which I used in the model. So if I run it now, again, I click this execute selection, you observe that uh, now in my data editor, I have uh, my pred, it's a new variable. Again, you can change this name the way you want. And in principle, in the ideal case scenario, this should be pretty close to your sale price, right? Of course, you can use like, uh, my sale price for comparison. And observe here that we do prediction in sample here, because in principle, for all of my houses, I have a sale price, right? And I kind of uh, generate this prediction. Of course, if for some of your houses, you don't have, for example, the sale price, you have like a missing data here, but you have the variables which you used in the regression, like lot area, overall quality, and so on, then this command likewise will work in this out of sample prediction, right? So it, it will also work out of sample. And just to illustrate on the quality of the prediction, uh, it's good uh, often to check uh, how these predictions compare to the actual sale price, right? With the help of common scatter, right? So this common scatter will put my prediction on uh, the vertical axis, on y axis, and sale price on the horizontal axis. So if I run it, you can see again that it's not bad in principle, right? So you see, like, there is indeed some. Uh, connection between them. The, the points ideally should be on the 45 degree line here, uh, but of course uh, we have some houses in this area which have this kind of non-linear trend, right? So if you try to fit here like a linear line here, right, some houses we could not capture, right, and you will need to extend the model. You know, sometimes it helps to take a log of sale price to run this model, but definitely you need to add additional variables. So again, in this video, we looked at how to use a predict command after regression and also how to, for example, look at the scatter plot of prediction against uh, the actual price. So please check the first video on how to run regression and the next video will show you how to do more advanced example of regression. Thank you. To practice these and many additional data tools, please check out the description for a coupon code to my new course, Jump Start Stata, into ours. Thank you.